Hello, this is Charles, your groom porter from McGregor Historic Games. This video is a little look at our replica of a satirical deck of German playing cards, dating from 1545 and designed by the German artist Peter Flotner. Flotner was a designer, sculptor, and printmaker who was an important figure in the introduction of Italian Renaissance design to the decorative arts in Germany. German playing cards have a long tradition of including illustrations, often with moralistic or satirical meanings behind them, but Flotner's deck is probably one of the naughtier ones that still survives. In fact, among some historical reenactors, it is sometimes referred to as the poop deck, for reasons that will become apparent. It was a 48 card deck with no aces. 48 card decks were commonly used for a trick-taking game called Carnoffel. It was a game played mostly by the lower classes, and the naughty or satirical images on this deck definitely seem to reflect the game's lower class origins. In fact, the name Carnoffel is translated literally as hernia, and also seems to have been used as a euphemism for testicles. It is also known by the more polite name of Kaiserspiel. The deck uses traditional German suits of acorns, leaves, hearts, and bells, as well as lower class and upper class Unter and Obermann figures rather than jacks and queens. According to our reading, there are two or three surviving examples of this deck, including a black and white version that probably would have been sold to the lowest classes. Fortunately, one of the surviving decks was hand-colored, so we chose to colorize our version inspired by that deck. The backs of that original hand-painted deck were also inscribed with musical notation that together makes up four-part songs that are devoted to themes of love. Each suit represents a different voice. Acorns the bass, leaves the tenors, hearts the treble, and bells the alto voices. The music appears to be original to the deck, not something that was added later, but in order to keep our replicas of the cards as inexpensive as possible, we decided to leave the backs blank, as was most common for early playing cards, and to avoid having the music turn them into a form of marked cards for actual play. The Oberman cards are the equivalent of queens in a standard deck, and are all more middle or upper class figures the master of the mint, a secretary, a cupbearer, and a musician. Whereas the unter cards, or jacks, are from the lower ranks, a messenger with a letter in his hand, a large cook with a pen and spoon, a butcher, and a fool with a dripping nose and probably a suggestive limp sausage in his hand. Each suit in the Flotner deck is also loosely connected to a theme. In the acorns suits, it tends to be scatological, portraying the antics of pigs all with a pile of feces. In popular culture at the time, pigs were equated with lust and gluttony. Here on the nine of acorns, two pigs play backgammon over the prize of a mound of feces on the edge of the board. In leaves, several of the scenes depict the drunken and lusty behavior of peasants and farmers. The four of leaves shows a farmer squatting and defecating while his wife inspects his work. The hearts are primarily concerned with the pastimes of the bourgeois, sometimes innocent, sometimes not. On the Seven of Hearts, a pregnant woman holds up a mirror to two gentlemen who may be soliciting her. But in their reflections, their flat caps appear with horns, one of the symbols for being a cuckold. And a number of the scenes and bells seem to portray vain and foolish behavior. The Four of Bells features a man who has lost his money in a card game, sitting on all fours, receiving a thrashing on his bare behind from his wife. And my cat in the background now tells me that it's time to wrap up this video and tell you that if you're interested in these cards or our other period playing cards, you can find them at our website at historicgames.com.